Well, it finally happened. He told me he wants a divorce. Yep. <laughs> you're not even. You're not even gonna do the TikTok trend. Yep. Get the fuck out. <laughs>
So we saw this pull into the parking lot, and I'm like, hey, we could live in that. And he says... It's like, no, nah, not big enough. It's like, <laughs> I could live on that by myself. That's what I said. And I said, well, we live in here. I was like, yeah, but I don't want you no more. <laughs> a level. Just the level of love. This is what 30 years will do to you. <laughs> so we made it to Zombroda last... Yesterday. Yesterday morning. We got here yesterday morning. Well, it was like 11 o'clock. Okay, okay, but that's still morning. Our appointment wasn't until today at 10 a.m. So we were here almost 24 hours early. So we went down They to, weren't open. Yeah. We went down there. They're not open. So we came down here to the Quick Trip. Have I told y'all how much I love Quick Trip? I love Quick Trip. They have good coffee. They've got good concessions and groceries. All truck stops need to be Quick Trips. KT, not QT. KT. Okay. Yeah. Whatever. Anyway. Hey, Wiener. Hey, Wiener. So, needless to say, we got down there when they opened this morning and got offloaded pretty quick, and now we're just here waiting on the office staff to come in and give us our load for today, which happens to be Eclipse Day. And right now... But we're in Minnesota, so we don't mind about the Eclipse anyway. <laughs> well, and we're in the 50% right now. So... I know none of you are going to see this till after the eclipse is over with, but I hope none of you are retarded. You go to these places, you go to other people's towns, homes, livelihoods, areas, crap like that. Be respectful of them. And just it's other just people a, that are visiting. It's just an eclipse. Hopefully, know. if you do see this, the world didn't stop. It's supposed to be an apocalypse on how many different levels? At least 24. I think I've counted 24 different <laughs> major things are going to happen. Don't care. Apocalypse, eclipse. They kind of sound the same, right? Mm -hmm. Well, okay. So, well, like I said, we don't have anything just yet. Oh, well, we got a message out waiting on, on waiting on the next load. So, we'll check back with you when we know more. <laughs> well, I don't like to say I'm a prophet or anything. But well, there I go. Bing, you have a new message, kind of like that. And I'm like, dead head back to the yard. <laughs> he said head back to the yard. <laughs> so technically, we still don't have anything to do. But anyway, so we are headed back to the yard. I did just check the weather forecast, and I think I like our odds of seeing the eclipse better from there. So just so we're clear. It's almost five hours back to the yard. Oh. So we won't get there before the eclipse. <laughs> we'll be on the road for the eclipse. And I'm guessing that's... we're not going to see anything. If we're going to notice it get darker, yeah. But that's probably about it because it is probably complete. Well, it is complete cloud cover here. Yeah. Yeah, we could easily get a load in route. So. Yeah. That's generally what happens when they say head this way. So we'll see. And we'll see you later down the road. trailer and pick up another trailer and then take that trailer down to the yard. Hang on just a second. We'll be right back.
obviously, I never clued you guys into where what happened. We got back to the yard after um, non-delivery of that broke down trailer and promptly got another load. So we're currently sitting in Aurora, Colorado. <laughs> It was a lovely trip, a little bit crazy. Uh, we brought out 39,000 pounds of cho chocolate wafers. Chocolate wafers. Yeah, chocolate this. wafers, yeah. We brought them for Bodine, and I know I've probably mentioned this before, but Bodine is another company there in Lamar's that manufactures ice cream related products. Only these guys make wafers or cones or waffle cones, and oh, the plant is like six blocks from our yard and when the wind's blowing the right direction you can smell them cooking the only thing catastrophic from the eclipse that i can tell is i broke my sunglasses but here's here's the true miracle the true miracle went to the store and bought another pair exactly like them yeah she's had them for a while so yeah it's a true miracle you can tell everybody what you're doing or are you just gonna do it <laughs> Baby wipes. <laughs> Best friends of truckers everywhere. Sometimes you gotta be a little extra clean. You know, we were watching a TikTok today that said the the most unhygienic stars in Hollywood was Brad Pitt. Brad Pitt uses baby wipes when he's extra busy instead he's of showering. Basically, like when he's out on set and, and he gets to have a funk, use baby wipes. Yeah. I don't know why that. Like, I listen. Everybody to should <laughs> use these. I know a lot of people that need to use more. I listen to that whole list and I'm like, somebody gets <laughs> chewed for not washing their hair every day and somebody gets chewed for not using any perspirant. I'm like, God, would they hate truckers. <laughs> we just got backed into the door for delivery. Um, given the speed with which everybody else has gotten in and out of here, I don't think we're going to be here very long. But I have spotted something in the parking lot here that I have never in my life ever seen before anywhere. And... It is a brand that I'm familiar with from commercials in the 80s. Yeah, I'm dating myself. But, um, yeah, it's a rare, rare vehicle. Very rare. And most people... It's not exotic. It's not this... Oh, everybody's yeah, got to have one. It's, it's just... Yeah, it's just an SUV. Yeah. It's just an SUV. But it is so incredibly rare in this country. So, let's see if any of you can identify this. Do any of you remember the videos or the the commercials for these back in the 80s? I don't. <laughs> I know. Anyway, uh, we already have our next load assigned, and I'm not really looking forward to it, but whatever. It is what it is. But that's next week's adventure, you know. So what do we say? Like, share, and subscribe. <laughs> Tell, Tell all, all your friends. friends. <laughs> in the meantime, oh, I don't, I don't get a thanks. You're not going to take over all my lines? In the meantime, thanks for watching. See you, bye. The great cars of Europe have been priced out of reach. Now Renault presents the road to affordability. Renault Alliance, Motor Trend's 1983 Car of the Year. Twin coaxial torsion bars for a smooth, quiet ride. Fuel injected, fuel efficient. European technology that's affordable. Renault Alliance, built in North America. One to watch.